fast estate cars. There's just something about them that seems to appeal to petrol heads. Perhaps it's because they're a bit odd, almost like they've snuck out of a factory when the CEO's not looking. It could also be because as you grow up and need a bit more space, you don't necessarily have to sacrifice driving pleasure. Step forward the Golf R Estate, and this is no badge engineering exercise, as you really do get the full fat 296 bhp motor and four wheel drive hardware of the Super Hatch. But this is no rally car, it's a sensible and civilised Golf. until you put your foot down because acceleration from 0 to 62 takes a luggage destroying 5.1 seconds that's just 0.3 seconds slower than the normal hatchback and while all of the noise might not be from the quad tailpipes or entirely genuine who cares when it sounds this exciting that might be a matter for debate but what isn't is the four-wheel drive because come rain or shine, winter or summer, put your foot down and you get the same result. In fact, I'm not sure if I've ever driven such a planted car. But that's not all because choose eco or comfort modes from the dashboard and the noise goes away, the suspension softens and this becomes more comfortable than a standard Golf on 18 inch alloy wheels. You really can take your dogs to the park one minute and then hammer through the compression at Eau Rouge the next. And for the full Transformers effect, you really do need to go for the 800 pound dynamic chassis control option, which comes very highly recommended from us. In fact, I actually like it best in comfort mode because the suspension soaks up bumps beautifully, but there's still not too much body roll and always plenty of grip. And this is where the individual selection comes in because you can tweak each element of the car's personality to suit your taste. The only bad news, performance never comes cheap. And even in eco mode, the best economy I've seen is around 35 mpg, which is still a little way off Volkswagen's claim of 40.4. Of course, up front, the interior is near identical to the Golf R hatchback. So you get these blue needles, which are exclusive to R models, along with blue ambient lighting and these bucket seats, which are both figure hugging and comfortable. And yes, compared to rivals like the Focus ST Estate and Leon ST Cupra, the level of fit and finish in the Golf does keep it one step ahead. So while the R badge does mean you get all the performance kit as standard, you'll need to spend a bit extra to get all the interior equipment you see here. So for example, this Discover infotainment system with SatNav is around £765. While for better audio, you'll need this Dyn Audio speaker upgrade, which is around 500 And if you want to see out of that elongated boot, then there's an optional reversing camera. Space in the back is pretty good. The Golf has certainly grown over the years and headroom's not too bad, whilst knee room is slightly tight, but manageable. Still, it's no Passat, so if you did want to sit three abreast or have lots of extra room for child seats, then you may need something slightly bigger. Of course, being the estate, the boot is extremely important, and you'll find 605 litres, along with a very wide and low opening lip and this practical hatchback. Fold the rear seats down and you get up to 1620 litres of space. And there are plenty of lashing points, and you'll definitely need those to keep your things secure. As for its price, well, you'll either think that 33 grand is a huge amount of money to spend on a Golf, or that a car this great to drive is worth every penny. Either way, the Seat Cupra and Focus ST Estates are both more affordable alternatives. If I could have my dream garage, I'd probably have an SUV, a daily runabout, and a lightweight sports car for weekends. But what if you could only have one car? Well, for me, the Golf R would certainly tick a lot of boxes. And if wardrobe shifting ability is one of yours, then the estate makes even more sense. But do you fancy turning your shopping into omelettes with the Golf R Estate? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car or for any other model, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more reviews, click on one of the links on screen now.